Hey everyone, how are you? I hope everything is fine. I am here recording the video as I said to you. This is the first one, and I'll start to record also the second one and the third one. Okay? I will not explain details how to make the thing because this is just a review. You're supposed to know that. However, in case you need extra help or whatever before the assessment, uh, please just go to my room. I explain to you. I'm more than willing to give you more instructions and understand how it works and how we solve each mm. one of those things here. Okay. Let's start it. Okay. As I promised you, let's go over here. Let's start solving this problem here. The first one is expansion. Okay. How we figure out the coefficients, the numbers on the front of each one. <clears throat> As I said to you, you go calculator. Okay. Calculator alpha. Oops. Alpha. Window. And which exponent is this thing here? 5 power. And which position is the number here? We have six positions, okay? Remember that. We have six positions, this one. The first one is just an NCR. You go to alpha window option 8, okay? And N is 5. C and R is the first position. When we change the second position, number 2. Third position, number 3. And so on, Okay? <clears throat> just explain to you how we do that and we'll find the thing here as negative 3x to the fifth power so let me just make smaller just be sure here everything will fit negative 3x to the fifth power plus 5 uh, negative 3x and fourth power and 4y uh, plus 10 negative 3x to the third oops the third is outside the parentheses let me just fix this okay 3x to the third 4y square 4y to the second power plus 10, negative 3x to the second. I hope everybody remember the pattern. It's just x is increasing, decreasing and y is increasing. As you notice, 4y to the third and plus 5, negative 3x to the first, 4y to the fourth. And the last one is just one, just right, plus 4y to the fifth. Okay? I know it's too small, but I'm talking here. You can understand and figure out. Solving the calculator is negative 240. I'm directing red here. Be sure everybody understand this thing here. Negative 243 x fifth power plus 1620 x fourth y minus 4320 x third y second plus 5760 x square y third minus 3840 xy fourth and the last one plus 1024 y to the fifth we did this in class just fix here to be sure you understand number two is the same thing determine the coefficient the coefficient guys it's just the thing we learn this also. But if you're, oh, mister, I want to remember how to do this. It's 12 factorial, 7 factorial, because it's the number you were looking for. The first one here, 7 factorial and 5 factorial. 
just solve this. Mister, we have a calculator, yes. Alpha Windows 8, and you see NCR 12C7. And we will find the number 792. Great. Uh, the next one, keep working. We're just working here. And what are you supposed to do here? We know it is 792 A to the 7, B to the 5th. Now, who is A, who is B? My A is 2A, my B is negative 3B. Then 792, 3, oh, 2A to the 7, negative 3B to the 5th. Put it in calculator, you got a huge number, which is negative 24 million, 634, 368, Okay, uh, and the coefficient here would be a to the seven and b to the fifth. Great. Here, number three, solve it quickly. Okay, I try to solve it quickly to everybody understand this pattern here. We have to factor this guy here. I will not teach how to factor because you learned this in algebra one. Okay, but. I look for two numbers, I multiply 4 and I add 5. This is easy. x plus 4, x plus 1. Okay? This is the denominator. The denominator. I'm looking for two numbers or three numbers. I multiply x, to the, uh, x cubed plus 64. This is factor. We, we learn also about the identities. Okay? I don't know if you remember. But this is x plus 4 times x squared minus 4x. x squared minus 4x plus 16. Okay? Nice. What do they have in common here? They have in common x plus 4. Here's the discontinuity, okay, where we have a problem. And solve this problem here x equals negative 4 is where we have problem that's it that's it okay uh perform each operation here is just add again i will not explain how to factor you're supposed to know this thing okay with 3 times 4 12 negative 12 i look for two numbers multiplies negative 12 and that's negative 11 and we keep working will be 3 3x plus 1 this factor here, second one, x minus 4, plus factor the second one also will be 2x, uh, x minus 4, and x plus 1. Cross multiply what is not in common, then will be 3x plus 1, 3x plus 1, and plus... 2x common here, 3x plus 1 here, over just one denominator also now, which is 3x plus 1, x minus 4, and x plus 1. Solving distributive property, whatever, you will find the final answer as. 6x squared plus 5x plus 3 divided by 3x plus 1, x minus 4, and x plus 1. One problem here. My denominator cannot be 0. And my denominator will be 0 when? When my x equals negative 1. When my x equals negative one third and my x equals four. That's when I have a problem. Okay. Same thing you're doing B. Okay. I'm not along too much here, but as you solve, you find the factor, you find six x squared 
and my x cannot be 2, okay? That's where I have a problem, because my denominator will be x minus 2. Great. That's it. We go over here, next one. I will try to make it quickly. It's just read the word problem. You will still be situated this 2.5 in the equation, okay? As we still be situated and solving calculator, your y equals 19.83 milligrams. Okay, that's it. Which is the same thing we go here in, in graph, 2.5. And we corroborate our data because we'll be exactly 18.83 in this point here. Great. Number six, identify the number imaginary zeros. Okay. I know my function, they have five zeros because this fifth power here. I know I have five zeros. Okay. If you go calculator, attention here. I taught you how to graph. Remember, y equals, you type all this equation there, and you see the graph. You see how many times your graph cross the x-axis. You will see cross only three times. Mister, but you told us we have five zeros here. Attention for the thing. If it cross three times, it means I have three real zeros, three real zeros and how many imaginary zeros i have two imaginary zeros okay that's it put in calculator see how many times your graph cross the x-axis make the difference this is how many imaginaries okay here end behavior same thing when my x increase what's happened with my y when my y decrease what's happened with Okay, that's exactly the thing. Same thing you can put in calculator. You can check this over there. But what do we got? When my x decrease negative infinity, what's happened with your y? My f of x. What's happened with f of x? When my x decrease, it increase. Okay, it's positive infinity. And the other one is the opposite. Okay. My, when my x increase, my f of x decrease. Okay? Negative infinity. I'll not give details here, as I said to you. If you want to, you know my room. Uh, here, same thing. We just check. As I told you, solve. Write the equation here. Y equals... 2x to the third plus 15. Solve for x, okay? You solve for x. Make x alone. Subtract 15 is the first thing you do here. Will be y minus 15 equals 2x to the third. Divided by 2, it will be y minus 15 divided by 2 equals x to the third. And take the third root on both sides. And you have x equals third root y minus 15 divided by 2. And you check if it's the same. Oh, mister, it's not the same because x and y. Remember, need to switch positions. y equals the third root x minus 15 divided by 2. Now it's correct. Okay? That's the way you check. Number 9. I did in classroom, I hope you remember, it's just graph, okay? And remember to go calculator zoom and option zero to zoom fit to be smaller, to be like in the zoom, the point we want to see, okay? And the graph looks like a little bit this guy here, okay? And the second one. The function is invertible. Yes, by horizontal less test. Yes, by horizontal line test. I did this in class. If you're not sure, it's okay. Just remember here, horizontal line test. Okay? 
just erase this guy here. I don't want that. Here, the invertible function is just like flip and rotate 90 degrees. Remember this we did in petty paper, okay? Which is exactly this guy here, okay? Here, something like that, okay? It's not 100%, great. Right? Next one, I did in class with you also. I will not expend too much time here. It's just write the equation and how we do that. The first one, d of x is equals negative because it's invertible. You need to test in calculator, okay? Fifth, third root. And here is x minus two and plus two here the next one because this point here okay this point here oops let me just put it here have room for everything uh oh it's not d of x it's a of x b of x equals uh negative third root x minus two only because and no zero plus zero this guy here, C of X equals the center point here, negative third root X minus one minus two. Okay. And the last one, D of X equals negative because this point here, okay, negative third root x minus 1 minus 4. Describe each transformation we did already here. And write uh, each function using the design for each function. Write the domain as an equality. Okay, for each function, guys, to write the domain, you just need to check each one, like how big and what the direction they go in x and y. Okay? As you see here, the limits of my thing, the domain, is exactly between negative 10, smaller than or equal to x, smaller than or equal to 10. This is the inequality for the domain. Mister, how do you know this stuff here? That's the good question. Look at the limits of my function here. I start, I know you can see here's negative 8, okay? And here is 8. Here's the domain, okay? That's the two things. Better, I just choose negative 10 because it's round number. You can write negative 8 to 8, okay? That's it. Uh, write each function using the design for each function. Oh, we did already. B, yeah, B is a domain here. Sorry, my bad. This is A, A is here, okay? And this is B, okay? Uh, rewrite each expression by extracting. Guys, it's just factor and solve. We did this many times in class already, okay? I will just give the answer key here. It's 3xy fourth third root 2x squared. B, 2, can you see here is second power? Remember to use absolute value symbol, okay? A, B to the third. And what is inside yet? 11, A, B. Great. This one also, lowest terms, just add, combine like terms if it's possible, and solve. It will be um pa, 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 6y 6y minus 2 cubic root cubic root y square and here's multiply distributive property it is negative 16 a to the third uh a square oh sorry no just 16 a third root a square 
plus 40a squared. Great, that's it. That's the first one. If you have any question, any doubt, please let me know. I am here to help. Thank you very much. Have a great day.